Raise your hand if you watch television on a daily basis. Have you seen some of the TV shows nowadays? I have, and I don't like a lot of them. Most of the time, I'd rather watch something on Animal Planet or KRA because that way I know I'm actually learning something. Television is used for entertainment, but it's turning into something that shows only inappropriate and violent TV shows. Not all shows are like this, but then again, a lot are. TV shows are progressively getting worse and worse. Compared to the ones in the 50s, they're less educational and also less appropriate. Did you know that in the show I Love Lucy, they weren't even allowed to say the word pregnant, and now you turn on the TV and, whoa. <laughs> the content of TV shows is also very violent now. It's inappropriate for a lot of younger viewers. Did you know that the average American child will witness 200,000 acts of violence and 16,000 murders by the time they turn 18? That's a lot. <laughs> when children see large amounts of violence on TV, their senses are numb by it, and they start using it in their day-to-day -day lives. Violence displayed on television has a worsening effect on the development of children and the way they act. That is not the only problem with television nowadays, however. There are also other problems, like people watching it too often. Television is becoming like a babysitter to children. People are watching televisions from earlier ages than they have in the past. They're getting addicted to watching it at younger ages than they have, and there are consequences to that. In 1961, the average age for people to start watching TV was three years. Now, it's, guess what it is now? Nine months. That's a huge difference. Studies show that children who start watching TV before the age of three are worse at recognizing shapes and numbers than kids who don't. Studies also show that for every hour a child under three watches TV, the risk of having problems by the age of seven increases by 10%. I think TV producers need to stop making TV shows that are violent and pointless. They make shows like that and people are influenced. I know they probably won't stop though because they make money off these types of shows and that seems to be everything nowadays. These shows are popular among certain audiences so they'll continue to be produced. As American journalist Linda Ellerby once said, the two strongest messages we're sending through television is that popularity is everything. And if it doesn't make money, it's not worth anything. Is this what TV producers think? Is this what you think? The only way the making of these TV shows will stop is if we show TV producers we don't like it. For example, Jersey Shore. This show is inappropriate and influencing people negatively. Some parents allow their, their young children to watch these types of shows but what happens when they start to repeat what they hear on it? What happens when they start acting like that because they think it's OK? Even my own family discourages watching a lot of TV or certain shows. They rather we go outside and ride bikes or play soccer. And whenever we sit down to have dinner, we always turn off the TV because that way we're actually enjoying our family time. Some people are misinformed about the do's and don'ts of TV. There are things that I believe for a long time that aren't true. There are myths about television. And knowing the truth about them will help them educate their kids about TV. When people are informed, it helps make sure they're educating their kids in a way that will help them and us. Some of the myths involving television and the shows on it are good, but some are bad. One is that young people watch more TV than anyone else. There are many articles that disprove this, one of them even being in the New York Times. In reality, 12 to 17 year olds watch less TV than anyone else. In the fourth quarter of 2011, they watched about 100 hours a month, which is five hours less than it was in 2010. Those 50 to 64 years watched the most television and those 65 and older watch about three hours more. Television helps kids go to sleep. This is not true either. 
There was a study done in 2005 that supports this in which 2,000 children participated. The results showed that the more TV a child watches, the more likely they are to develop irregular sleep or nap problems. So if a child goes to sleep on a regular basis, well, if a child watches TV before going to sleep on a regular basis, it won't help them sleep any better. If you let your child watch TV when they can't sleep, it's, you're contributing to the problem, not the solution. I'm sure you've all heard that sitting close to the TV is bad for your eyes. Don't believe it because it's not true. According to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, kids can actually focus up close better than adults, so watching TV up close won't harm their eyesight. The reason for this myth started in the 1960s because TVs then were found to emit excess x-rays, which can be harmful. Because of this, children were warned against sitting too close to the TV. In the present, however, TVs are safer and no longer emit these kinds of rays. The solution to the problems involving television would be to involve your children in something more extracurricular. For example, sports, clubs, any after school activity that can distract them from the television. Doing this will not only help improve the literary, literary skills, it will also help them become more social and interactive towards others. Try not to let them watch a lot of TV, TV before they turn three or to help them go to sleep because after a while it won't work. Also, try to monitor what they're watching. Some shows aren't appropriate and they need to know that, especially when they're younger. I believe there are so many other productive things we could be doing instead of wasting time in front of the television. We could read a book, exercise outside, spend time with friends and family, or even just play a game like checkers. The things we could be doing with that time are endless, so why waste so much of it in front of a television? That is time you will never get back, so make the most of it. Television can be good or bad. It depends on what you watch, what we let other, others watch, and how long we watch. Certain shows can influence us if we let them, but who doesn't watch TV? It's interesting and entertaining. So when you watch, make sure you know that you're setting an example for everyone else. Be educated when it comes to TV so everyone around you can be educated too. Thank you.